So we've got the new 87 storyline Stuani. The four star, four star, mostly lengthy, right footed, high low work rate card. Oh my god, I don't know how many other <laughs> words I could use to describe him. But he's actually got a decent upgrade, to be fair. He already had an 83 from an inform. He's now gone technically 10 ratings up compared to his normal common card and a four upgrade from his inform. In terms of pace, we've got a plus nine on the bonus. We've got four shooting, five passing, seven dribbling, and two on the physicality. He's also got the playstyle plus a power header. He's got chip shot, power header, power shot, technical, acrobatic, and aerial. And in terms of stats, we're looking pretty good throughout. Great composure, strength, heading looking good. Pace with the engine is going to be much, much better. We've gone with the engine mainly to sort out that agility balance as much as possible. You end up with 90 dribbling with 81 and 88 on the agility balance, 89 pace and 88 passing, turning him into a 91 rated striker for free. So let's have a look and see what we can find in champs with him. I am doing the evolutions of Alaba at the same time as I did not have an Alaba at all. And I could not snipe one for the life of me. So we've done him. We're going and we're hopefully going to get a Dante at some point. So let's see what our man Stuani can do. I want him seeing through one goal here. There's the, oh, there was the pass Mbappe. Robbed it off in blind. So we try, oh my God. Can we? Penalty. It's got to be a penalty. He didn't, Lucio of all things, terrible defending from him, but beautiful for us. Stuani, 98 penalty, Yashin with his cap, is going to, I'm going top left. Ow, oh, it's stunning, easy dubs for the first goal. I'm pretty sure Stuani got another upgrade last year as well. I want to say he had like a, a topper rated card, that's going to not be the pass I want. Lovely, rectified the scenario, but Stuani is not there. Stuani. The only thing I don't get is, why on earth we got a Stuani? Was he left-footed? I'm going to hope... He, oh, okay. <laughs> Was he? No, he won. But he has got the four-star weak foot. The only thing I don't get with this card is, why a storyline and not a fire versus ice? Like, surely, the, the perfect scenario would have been to make an objective and you've got to choose between them at the end. Like, yes, don't give us two cards. Fair, fair enough, whatever. But, I mean, it'd have been pretty cool. Or, go with the fire and ice. Get the power header. And he still didn't use the power header. But it would have been really nice to maybe have fire one week, ice the next. Like, they could have done it that way and just picked one random card to give two types to. Or they could have done my objective and, and gone with two of the same card. But you can only pick one of them. That would have been really interesting to see, to be honest. So I don't know why they've done that with an SBC, but they've not done that with the objective. We will get a power header. Get the little chip up. Get the header. Oh, he does have the four-star skills as well, which is absolutely fine by me this would have been the perfect card we use Morata the like literally like five games ago he would have been this would have been the perfect card to have the uh the power shot plus power head is nice but it, it's just not my favorite on a striker because like, like we've seen already even in oh my oh Courtois going for a little chip even with you going like the perfect setup for a header they tend to volley it anyway especially it's mainly if, if you don't have any competition can we get this turn on him? Oh, he's read it. He's read it. Power shot. Oh. This is where we want him. Power header. Nice. Okay, okay. We can try that again. He's going to bring the keeper out, surely. Oh, it's not even him there. Right card. Mbappe. Get into the box. Get into the box. Get into the box. Into the box. Power header. Oh. I think the big bonus as well for him is the fact that he is obviously free. That That's always going to add some value to the card that you don't actually have to pay with him i want i want to see this power header though oh that's going to be a volley isn't it and he's even missed it he was oh well i say he was open oh what's mad is they bought out Morata just thinking about it and then they've already bought out oh damn they've already bought out a better la liga striker for literally nothing so it's it's quite ironic that Morata's got a, a decent upgrade like don't get me wrong he's not not going to be the best striker in the world, but he's most definitely better than the previous version. And yet they're like, nope, we've already given you Stuani, so already better. Can we get that pass off? That is not who I wanted to through ball. What's his pass? 88 with the engine. Never. Never. There it is, though. Stuani with a run. Mostly lengthy. He always gets faster. Oh, cut in. Virgil. Stuani. Beautiful goal. Turns Virgil slightly in and out. Oh, this could be the chance. Big cross 
into nobody. Stuani was there. Gorincha, we need a word. Stuani! Oh, now he brings the keeper out. Why? Let me get a power header shot. <laughs> this is what I mean. It's just not, it's not in my sort of game style. Maybe if you are incredibly gifted at crossing, maybe a Trent would actually be more beneficial, but it's just, I don't need it. I don't need heading. A power shot, a finesse, anything for me is better for a striker. Can he get out of this? Oh, oh, uh, that's a great save from Schmeichel's foot. I must admit, I don't know how he managed to. Left stick is, it's, it's good enough, I'd say. It's not the worst. I mean, it, obviously, it's not going to be as responsive. Oh, he's injured now as well. Passing, definitely on the better front. Try to just sneak it past him. Good turn. Oh, faking. Oh, faking. Oh, how? Oh, got to be. Oh, penalty. Out. Replay outside of the box. Got to be this time. Got to be this time. Straight across goal. Stuani. Oh, Stuani again. So we do go into the overall form then. Honestly, a little bit of a fun card. He's not going to be number one striker by any means, but he definitely has something about him. If you are looking for the objective, I've got a video on the channel on the quickest way to get him done. If you were looking on footing what you've actually got to do, it is eight goals with a minimum 80 shooting. Where have we got him? Have we got him somewhere else here? Have we got him here. Then you've got four assists with an 80 dribbling. Score an assist with a La Liga player in three separate and win six with three La Liga. Nice and easy. Get it done. And then you get this card. So in terms of the upgrade from the 83, we've naturally got a play star plus on him. This card can actually go up. So you could have had an 86 already. Wouldn't quite have had the upgrade that this one does as mainly the pace is much better. Can put him mostly lengthy with absolutely everything bar from artist. So he already gets that extra bonus on pace as he progresses forward, which is always nice. We personally went with the engine on him to really max out as much agility balance as I can. Obviously, the shooting's already a good level. Passing's decent. And then we get a bit more on the, the, the dribbling as well, which is just perfect. A 91 overall striker for free is never going to be the worst card in the world. Yes, 87 is a fodder. Maybe could have an evolutions later on down the line. I'm personally finding that out with Dante Trailblazer right now as he is completely extinct. Whereas at least with this card, everybody has the shot of at least getting one. I'd say as an overall, I'd put him actually above Morata in my opinion. I think he definitely was more responsive, a little bit quicker and a bit better on the turn. The only thing that lets him down, unfortunately, is the power header for me. But let me know down below what you think about him. If you've completed him, leave a rating. Peace.